I'm Jason Millsaps, the music editor for G3 Music Publishing Company. We are excited to announce that we are now going to offer to all of our subscribers the stems to the upcoming worship packs. Before we begin, I want to show you how simple this is to use. You'll simply need an eighth inch plug. You can buy these at Radio Shack, Best Buy, Walmart, any, any store most that sells electronics will have one of these. Looks like this. It's a small eighth inch, looks like a headphone jack. It goes into your headphone jack in your computer, in your laptop. That side will plug into your headphone jack just like this. After you plug that in, I use a direct box. You can simply use two direct boxes. Most guitar players use a direct box, so most churches will have two or three of these lying around somewhere. But they make some like this. They have two channels per box. That's what we use, just convenient. Uh, you can simply have two different boxes if you would like. You need two different channels. One channel is going to be used for your stems that the house will hear, that the people will hear. It might go through your monitors, uh, your floor wedges up on your stage. Uh, your drum track would go through, through this, your vocal track, your keyboard track, your guitar track, bass track, whatever stem you want to use will go through that channel. The other channel, that's your other end of your the, the eighth inch cord I, I described, that other end, that the quarter inch, that's going to plug into another channel. So you have two channels, one for your stems that the house will hear. The second channel is going to be used for your, your band, your band only. That's the only people that are going to hear that, and that is the click track. It's a metronome. Well, let's get started. I want to show you how simple this is. Some guys use Ableton, uh, Pro Tools, Logic, GarageBand. There's many different programs out there, but today I want to show you how simple this is to use these stems. So we're going to use iTunes. Most people have iTunes loaded up on their computer. If not, it's free. It's a free download from Apple.com. So we've downloaded the, the stems. We've made it that far. Now, take those stems. We're going to create a playlist on iTunes. The bottom left corner of iTunes, we've opened up iTunes, bottom left. We're going to click on the button. It's a plus symbol. We're going, to, we're going to click on that symbol one time. Creates a playlist. It says Untitled Playlist, and we can type in there G3 Stems. Enter. And there it is. We go up to it, click on it, and it's empty. So now we, we go to our desktop where we've already let, downloaded our stems to. I'll show you a trick. We're going to just drag iTunes over to halfway so we can see both the desktop and the and the iTunes screen. We're going to highlight. So all I'm going to do is just simply click one time, drag with my mouse, and just make a box, a little invisible box here around all of these files. It highlights them all. I'm going to click on the first one, click on it one time and hold, and drag it directly into iTunes right there. And there they are. So there's your stems. Let me give you a little example. So what we've done, I've set up two monitors here on the floor. And the left monitor here, you're going to hear the drums coming out of. The right monitor is going to serve as what we would hear in our ears, in the band's ears, in the in-ear monitoring system. That's the click track. It's the count off. That's what the house does not hear. So we're going to start with... Uh, a song that was on our last worship pack, worship pack 28, Salvation is here. So our drummer called, he's not here, he's not going to be coming, he's sick. We simply loaded in the drum track, the drum stem from the recording. And we highlight it like this. And to start it, we simply press enter or return. You'll hear the count off and I'm going to start playing. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can hear just the drum track playing, and the rest of the band will be playing with that. To stop that, you push spacebar. Let's say the guitar player's out. Maybe you only have an acoustic guitar player and you would like to add 
an electric guitar player, but you don't have anyone to play those parts, G3 has now provided the stem for you to use for those parts. Let's go to the guitar track. I'm going to go up, select it, push return to start the track. You'll hear the same count off just like before. Listen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, Here we eight. go. It's like he's in the room with us. What a great resource that you now have the capability to use. This is easy. Don't be scared to try something new. I will give you a tip. From experience, using in-ear monitoring is new. If your band is not used to it, venture out, try it. But try it out, just don't throw click tracks on every song yet. Start out with just the in-ear monitoring. Let them get used to that. Next, maybe start only the opening song with one of our stems. Use one song only with click. Let them get used to that. And maybe you'll start incorporating that more into your worship, more and maybe every song. And your band will love it. And I think you will benefit from this free resource we have now to offer you to all of our G3 subscribers. Once again, any questions, email us. Info at g3worship.com or visit us online at www.g3worship.com or visit us on Facebook. Have a great week. God bless you.